This is the five pin knitting spool and pick. And I'm going to use, you can use this with any kind of threading material. Uh, you could use ribbons or beading thread or very thin gauge wire. But for the purposes of demonstration, I'm going to use a one millimeter green satin cord. Uh, to cast on, you need to make sure that you have a tail of the cord coming out of the bottom of the tool. Then take hold of it in your left hand if you're right-handed and vice versa if you're not. And then you need to wrap your cord around the, the pin furthest away from you in a clockwise direction. And then you need to move to the pin on the left or anti-clockwise and do the same thing. And you continue round until you have a loop around each of the pins. You then continue and make a second loop around each of the pins. And then you stop at that point and I, I tend to trap the end with my finger there. Then you take your pick and the pin to the left of where you started is where you put the pick in to the bottom stitch and you gently lift it over the top and then pull the tail at the bottom of the dolly. You then continue round in an anti-clockwise direction, doing exactly the same thing, lifting the bottom stitch over the top and pull the tail of the cord. When you get to the point you only have one stitch on each pin, you just repeat the process. So you just go round and you're effectively creating the top stitch. Again, trap it with your finger and work from the pin on your left. When you're making a piece of jewellery, you want to continue until this comes out at the bottom of the, the tool here, or for as long as you, you have desired, so whether it's a bracelet or a necklace, anything you like. And then when you finish your piece, you have to cast off. So the way I cast off is to cut your thread, and then from the last stitch that you've done, you put the pick in from the top and gently pull it outwards, which releases that first stitch. You take this round to the next one and just wrap it on the outside, outside edge. And then you lift the bottom stitch over that one. Again, pull the tail and then do the same thing. On the same stitch that you're on, take the pick through and gently pull this stitch out. You continue round doing that until you have released all of the stitches. When you get to the last one, you do exactly the same thing. Put it around the outside edge, lift the lower stitch over the top, and then using the pick, gently pull this outwards. And then you can just release it from the tool. Here is an example of what the French knitting looks like. <laughs>